Welcome to your first impressions of the Boya WS-1000 Professional Windshield and Suspension System, otherwise known as a shotgun blimp. You can think of this as an unboxing, but hopefully I can provide a little bit more value as well. Ah, blimps. I've always felt like using a blimp on your production was one of those staples of professionalism and, you know, just reaching the next level. Now, I'm not super familiar with blimps in general. I've only ever used the road one um, a couple of years ago now, actually. So keep in mind, this first impressions is coming from someone who not only rarely shoots outside, but I also don't have a huge frame of reference. Really, my goal is to point out obvious deficiencies or drawbacks this system might have. All right, so opening the box, it's a large box. <laughs> we find the blimp, the blimp itself encased by these styrofoam pieces. There's another one. There's another one down there. <laughs> um, you know, these do a fairly good job of keeping everything encased and secure. Yeah, even though someone mistreated the box. I don't just mean <laughs> The dead wombat is also included. Uh, it feels a little bit thinner than I remember the road being, uh, but, but you could upgrade this later if you feel like it. So let's take a look inside our blimp. Uh, right away, I'll say these caps feel a little loose. Uh, I mean, they do lock at the lock position. <laughs> I'll come back to this in a bit. Uh, this wing nuts are fine. Uh, they, they get the job done. And they are metal, so I don't expect durability to be much of an issue. Uh, the rails are fairly smooth. You saw a little bit of struggle. I could have loosened it more, I guess. But it gets the job done, no complaints here. So let's talk about the handle and the shock mount. You can actually use this without the balloon portion as a much nicer indoor mic mount. You hear that? You hear that? I mean, granted, you're not going to be, you know, shaking your mic around like this in any productions, uh, but it's these wing nuts I mentioned earlier. Uh, they're the type that you can, you know, pull and readjust to so you can tighten if there's something in the way. At the same time, they're so loose that they seem to rattle with side-to-side -side movements. Um, honestly, I can't think of any situation where you would need to readjust these. I can appreciate them trying to include this feature, but I think I'm going to put some hot glue on this because if you know, this ruins one take. That's rough. <laughs> Actually spin it, uh, you know, because if you don't, <laughs> it'll just glue it to, like, it'll glue it tight. Hey, much better. <laughs> All right, back to review. The rest of the handle feels, you know, weighty and solid. You can, of course, adjust the handle position with this knob, like, like so. Something tells me this knob is a lot smoother on the road. Still, it's, you know, very usable. Unlike the road, to adjust the angle of the handle, you have yet another wing nut. The road is more of a folding clip. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it lets you adjust the angle really quick. Uh, well, this takes an extra second or so. Oh, I see. The On the inside, I presume this mechanism has teeth to keep it from sliding, but you can also land on a half step and you know it feels pretty secure until it's not. <laughs> um, it's just something else to keep track of, but you know, it's the little things, right? Last thing I'll mention is the XLR connectors. Uh, this side connects to your microphone, obviously, and actually let me, eh. And the other side just, you know, dangles. Uh, the Rhodes is built into the handle. And it's more than just for aesthetics. This dangling part could, you know, hit your boom pole if you're not careful with it. Imagine there's a pull here. This is a little dirty. <laughs> Again, it's such a small thing, but something else to keep track of. I probably end up using some Velcro ties to keep it in place. It's not a big deal. One nice thing that this system has that the road doesn't is three of these shock mounts and three sets of extra rubber bands. I guess that could also be a downside, right? Like these bands probably wear out much faster than the ride code ones do. Still, no complaints here. It feels pretty solid. It's a little bouncy. Oh, and these are adjustable as well. So if you're using a smaller microphone, you can just, you know, slide these up. <laughs> Could you take one of them or two of them completely off? Uh, good question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, so if, if you broke a ring, which I don't know how you would do that, but you could actually just remove it. Finally, let's look at it back on its blimp form. that in there, close that. So the cage part of the blimp is made of plastic and it has to be uh, because, you know, interference. 
but it feels rather soft. You can, you know, it's really malleable. I guess that's a good thing. If it was, you know, solid, it would be much more brittle and it would just snap if I did this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't go banging it against the walls and you probably will be fine. The actual foam in here too is rather thin. I don't remember if this is how the road one was. The actual wind protection comes from the that wombat, so this is not too much of an issue. All right, let's fully assemble it. So the way the zipper kind of forms here, you have to keep track of the cable and tuck it in. Uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world. I, I don't remember how the road was, but I don't know. It's just a little annoying. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how else I could have done it though. Suck it in, boya. <laughs> there we go. Ta-da! All right, so the only thing we have left is to test it, right? It's too hot out though. I'll get it, I'll get to it in a second. So we didn't end up going outside, but we did put a little fan here. So I'm gonna turn it on real quick. All right, how does it sound? So, so this is the road with just the foam surrounding it. Just the foam, doesn't sound good. Okay, let's switch it out for the day. Here's the road with a dead cat on it. It's a little dead kitty. And keep in mind, a lot of the noise that you're hearing is from the motor itself, from the fan. Okay, and here is the Boya blimp with the dead wombat on it. How does it sound? A lot better? Much better? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're not. Comment down below which you think is better in sound quality and whatnot, or if you have this and what you think about it. All right? Links to everything we discussed are in the description below, and I will see you next time. I'm flying away now. Goodbye. Did you come up with me? Huh?